welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a kit video for you and just show you what I use when I go on site for weddings. So I have my hair kit and then I have my makeup kit and then I'm also including my makeup chair in this just because I think it's a really important and valuable piece when it comes to going on site and doing these weddings. The reason I have this chair is because the bride sits up a little bit higher and so I'm able to make eye contact with her um, but also I'm not straining my back uh, when I'm actually you know doing her makeup so I am going to invest in the shorter version of this guy as well this one's from Pier one and it's just a folding director's chair and then the shorter version they have one at Fred Meyer for like 35 bucks so I just need to track it down and pick it up but honestly it's amazing I would always recommend bringing one of these with you if you are going to be an on-site makeup artist this guy at TJ Maxx it has little wheels on the back and then a nice like lift up suitcasey thing so if it does get too heavy I can pull it I'm trying to like put the least amount of strain on my body as possible um, there's lots of room and space on this side I just have some granola bars to get me through going into this little bag here I just picked up this guy he's like really cheap from forever 21 just to keep all of my little gadgets organized so I have some dry shampoo which you just never know what kind of hair you're going to be dealing with whether it's dirty hair or clean hair or how long it's been since they washed their hair last so I always carry dry shampoo and then I also have a shine spray from Sebastian it smells really really good and I have the Redken um, number 18 quick dry and then I have the Redken number 28 control addict and then I have the Redken Windblown, which you guys already know I love this stuff for myself and for clients. Um, this is a second number 28. I just like to have lots of hairspray on hand. And then this is just extra hold spray from Sally's Beauty. I picked this up just because I don't like super stiff hold hairsprays, but every now and then you need it. These are probably my favorite thing in the world. They're just lifesavers. After you curl the hair and if you pin it, uh, the curl will dry and set and cool and you'll just have a lot more longevity out of your curls. I also have black bobby pins. I have a full thing of brown bobby pins and I just got the big ones because they were on sale and available. And then I have blonde bobby pins. I just think there's nothing worse than someone who has this awesome hairdo and their bobby pins don't match their hair. And then in the center here, I have all of my clear little elastics from Sally Beauty. So that just keeps them all together and organized and they're not flying around. I also have some just goodie black ones just in case. You just never know, but they're just nice to have on hand. I always keep lots of business cards on me, so they're in my purse, in my car, in my hair kit, in my makeup kit, they're just everywhere. I have some Moroccan oil, so if someone has a lot of flyaways or frizzies, it's nice to just kind of rub this into your hand like lotion and then run it through the hair just to kind of smooth everything down. And then I also have like a whole bunch of these claw little clippy guys to get everything out of the way. And for brushes, these are probably two of my favorite brushes. Uh, they are great for back combing and just kind of creating that like deconstructed messy look, but also great for achieving volume. And then I have these two combs. So I use this pick comb quite a bit just to help get the desired style, especially with like updos and half updos. And then I just keep this guy on hand just to brush through the hair initially when the client has a seat so that's it for that bag and all of my product that I use on site and then in my bag I always keep a power strip simply because I hate not having enough outlets or like the cords are too short so this has a nice long cord and I'm able to plug in my stuff so this is the 24 inch Numi wand so this heats up to 450 degrees gets nice and hot and I love the waves that the wand creates and then I also have the 32 millimeter wand as well from Numi, and last but not least, I have a flat iron from Numi. So those are the only hot tools I usually bring. I used to bring a whole bunch more, but I just found out it was dead weight and I really don't use them. That is everything for the hair kit. Pretty simple and to the point. This is my 
makeup case and this is from Sunrise and we got this online at Amazon. I did have a smaller one but I definitely decided I need more space than that and so I got a big one. My only complaint is that there are times where this thing weighs more than I do and it's really hard to pack around and kind of a pain in the butt but it is awesome and durable and we've been getting along great so I wanted to go ahead and show you guys what I store in here. So there's three drawers on top that I'll unpack and then this is a nice deep drawer right here. So we'll just start from the top and I did just get off of a wedding so I apologize if it's messy or dirty. I do sanitize everything and keep everything really super clean and organized but um, like I said I just got done with the wedding and I wanted to film this for you as raw as possible so that you know what I'm putting into this and what what I take with me because everyone's asking about a kit video so here you go okay so first thing and probably one of the most important things is lashes I stock up on these demi wispies they're great for anyone with smaller eyes but they're awesome for bridesmaids family members all that good stuff and then I also have some wispies just for something more dramatic and then I also have the 113s for some more drama and then these are the little individuals and they're the not free double flares I have short and medium length you just never know if you're gonna have like a little grandma or a mother of the bride or sometimes even brides who just don't have a lot of lash so the strip lashes can be a little bit overwhelming on them so that's why I keep these guys there's more cards in here like I said I keep cards everywhere Tarte eyelash curler, which I love. Um, beauty blenders. I keep a whole bunch of beauty blenders and I sanitize them in between every client. I have the Laura Mercier translucent powder in here and then the under eye setting powder. And then I have a couple of bottles of MAC Fix Plus, which I like to use to prime the skin but also set. And then I have the Magic Lumi. I'm just using one of these up so that's where there's two. And then I have the Makeup Forever HD primer. I have the NYX Angel Veil Primer, which is exactly like the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer, I believe. I think that's what it is. It's just a lot more affordable, and it does the same thing. If not, works better. So that's just like my personal preference. You know, I do like to spend the money on good product, but I try to save where I can. So I have Dr. Feel Good, which is great if anyone has texture on their skin. It's like a smoothing balm. And then my Makeup Forever concealers. I have my little Makeup Forever concealer palette. And on this side, I have the Baby Skin Primer. We have two of the Instant Age Rewind Dark Circle Erasers in Neutralizer and the Brightening one. And then I have two Kevin O'Coin concealers in SX03, SX10, and I need like an in-between shade. I have two MAC Black Tracks in here, and then I have a Maybelline Eye Studio, the gel liner. I have Painterly Soft Ochre, and I have the Lay and Low MAC Paint Pots in here for priming the eyes. So that's everything in this drawer, just kind of like primers and concealers. The next drawer is all of my brushes. Like I said, I just got off a wedding, so they're a little bit dirty and I need to clean them, but I do clean them in between clients. So there's Morphe brushes, Sigma brushes, Luxie brushes, Real Techniques brushes, the Nars Eda brush I can't live without, this new Anastasia highlight brush I am loving, and then all my different eye brushes and everything. So I think that's pretty much all the brands. There's some MAC brushes in there. And then I love this little side pocket. It's like my little pride and joy. So I have both of the bronzers from Hourglass. They're just beautiful and add a nice soft focus to the face. And then I have their ambient lighting powders that they had last year. So here's the blush one. And then this is the highlight one. So a really great compact way to get those in there. I have a few of the poured highlighters from Becca. So these are really nice to layer underneath of the powder ones just for a little bit of added glow. And then I have a whole bunch of the Becca blushes in just about every shade. Um, these are really beautiful for brides. They're very pigmented, but they last a long time. They're wonderful quality. I also have this shadow and light dual compact from Becca and then I have the Becca pressed powders in Champagne Pop, Moonstone, and Opal. So that is all of that side which is like my highlighting powders and then a few bronzing powders. I was debating getting a brush belt but uh, I don't know if I'd use it and so for right now I'm just sticking with that and you know 
we'll, we'll see what happens. For foundation, so I have a few of the infallible foundations and I will tell you, I am just so excited. I got in touch with a wonderful makeup artist here in Boise and I just said, hey, what are you using? I mean, she's an extremely credible source. All of her clients turn out beautiful and so I was just like, what kind of product are you using? So she said Revlon Color Stay. I actually have gone through the Too Faced Born This Way, the Urban Decay Naked Foundation, which are wonderful, and then I also have my MAC Waterproof ones. Again, wonderful quality, but these are truly just like MAC Studio Fix, just the drugstore version. They actually photograph a little bit better, and I feel like they apply easier. So I have a ton of shades, two, four, six, eight. So I have 16 shades, and then I wanted to pick up some more of the Pro Matte Foundation as well, just because I'm not like trying to be cheap. I definitely want to make sure that my brides have the best, but these are two of my favorite foundations right now that I use myself. So that's those guys, and then I have a pretty wide color selection of the MAC ones as well. Moving down to this part, so this is really cool. All of these clips unlock, and then it opens up like so. You can unclip here, and then open it up like this. So. Um, this side is all of my lip stuff. I have a whole bunch of lip products from NYX, Maybelline. I have a few Gerard Cosmetic lip glosses down here. I have a few of the CoverGirl lip glosses, which I personally love. I have a Revlon Color Burst lippy. And then I love like the NYX Butter glosses. They're just really moisturizing and look good on just about everybody. My favorite shade from Maybelline that I use almost every single time is Bare All and it's just like a pearly white. I use this almost every time I do a bride's makeup just to put on the center of the lips to really make them pop and add dimension. And I have lip pencils from Rimmel, Jordana, Milani, Essence. I just have a ton of different shades. One of my favorite shades is from Rimmel and it's called East End Snob and it's a beautiful pink shade. And I really like these e.l.f. matte lip crowns. They just go on really easily and they actually last quite a while. So that's the lippy side of everything. And then on the other side, I have tweezers, um, small ones and big ones. And then I have just a cheap little um, eye pencil sharpener. I have my hand sanitizer in here. Scissors, safety pins, extra bobby pins. Always, always, always bring scissors with me just because that is like my lifesaver 90% of the time. And you need them for cutting lashes if someone has an emergency on their dress. Like, it's just nice to have them on hand. So I have um, three different lash glues. I love the brush on duo glue. I have the black glue for the individual lashes. And then I have the Ardell glue, which I'm not as crazy about, but it still works. And then I love the Lash Discovery Waterproof Mascara, and I just use one of these spoolies down here. The one thing I love about it the most is it's brush, but it is a good formula of waterproof mascara as well. It like lasts and lasts, but obviously I can't use the brush on clients. And then I have a few drugstore mascaras just for trials and stuff, because I don't like to use waterproof on people who are just doing a trial, because they might hate me later on when they're trying to get their makeup off. I have a clear brow gel from Sony Kashuk, and then I love the Rimmel Scandalize eye pencils or eye coals, and then I have the Trace Jolet ones from NYX in brown and black, and then for brows, I have a few of the Anastasia brow pencils as well as three different shades in the brow powder duos. So that's everything for that drawer, and then I have little lip spoolies right here, and so just keeping everything really sanitary and nice for my brides. So this just spreads apart and then there's more storage under here. So I always bring paper towels with me, like always, always, it's just something I cannot live without. And then makeup wipes, I have some elf ones I'm trying to use up and then these Equate ones are similar to the Neutrogena ones, so I just keep those. Tissues, because you never know who's gonna be crying or who's just gonna need a tissue. And then um, this little baggie with the Swispers in there, cotton pads, just to remove any excess makeup or sanitize or anything like that. And then I also keep a full thing of cotton swabs in here because they come in handy. I have a full thing of brush cleaner. This is just like a water spray bottle. And then I have D Slick, which I can't live without for setting spray. And I have two more setting sprays, the matte and the dewy finish from NYX. And then I also have a thing of makeup remover from Target. And I have a little spray bottle of alcohol just for uh, sanitizing lipsticks and such. 
And then my palettes are in here. So I don't know if you guys can see how deep this guy is, but it's really awesome. There's just plenty of room for everything, which is really nice. So these are two of my favorite palettes to use. They're a little bit more affordable, which is really nice and great colors. So this is the Neutral Matte Palette from BH Cosmetics. There's 88 shades in there, so I can find pretty much whatever I need. And then this is another one of their Neutral Palettes. Just really pretty colors for bridal and for bridesmaids. And then I have my Makeup Geek Palettes. This one's just a little more fun, but it does have White Lies and Corrupt in there, which I do use quite frequently. It's a customized palette that I did for pretty much specifically bridal, but these are all colors that I like to wear on a really regular basis as well. So all the foil shadows are on the top, a few shimmers, and then mostly mattes across through the right side of this palette. And I have my MAC blush palette. So I picked out these shades specifically for brides and I love the shade Dame as well for brides. And stay tuned for a MAC in-depth video. I'm just going through my kit right now, but I can do a MAC video later. There are some mirrors in here that came with the case, which is really handy and nice. And then these are my MAC shimmer shades. I have my MAC matte shades. And then these are two of my favorite things and these have really been a game changer for me is the Anastasia Cream Contour Kits and they have just been amazing. I have them in fair and light and yeah, I love them for contouring and just layering that contour, put on foundation, put on the cream contour and then set with a powder contour and it's been really beautiful. I also have the Anastasia Powder Contour Kit to set everything. Sometimes I reach for the NYX one. I really, really love this one. It's been wonderful. I love this banana shade in here. And the highlights are pretty. The contour shades are really pretty. I love this kit. And last but not least is my custom MAC contour kit that I made myself. So it has taupe, sculpt, shade stir, and then we have emphasize, accentuate and soft focus. So I made this guy myself and I love it. And that concludes everything in this guy. Okay, so I know I'm on the floor, but I just thought it was really important that I sit and talk to you guys a little bit about how I broke into this career and really kind of just my story of what happened. So I decided last December that I really liked makeup. I've always been girly. I grew up on a ranch, but I've always been super girly. And that's where I credit a lot of my hair skills and braiding skills is braiding horse tails my entire life. Anyways, last December I decided I really liked makeup and that maybe, you know, I should start a YouTube channel because I like being in front of the camera. And if I can do or say something to improve someone's quality of life, like, I'll do it, you know, I, I love people, I love being around people. And then I decided I like doing makeup a lot more on other people than myself. So I started just playing on friends and family and realized that I kind of had a knack for it. And in June I busted out and did like my first wedding. And then I have been booked almost every single weekend since solid with weddings. So I've actually quit my day job so I'm no longer managing the tanning salon I'm just doing this and then I'm doing the I do wed thing just to kind of fill up my days um, and bring in some extra income we are trying to close on a house right now so that's kind of some new news I know that in the last video I was like no we're gonna wait on a house well by the time we found the apartment that we wanted we were paying so much that it just didn't make sense so now we're back at looking at a house and investing in a house and we think we found the one so we've made an offer on it and it's just it's a lot of work as those of you who have bought a house before probably know but it is really exciting to start building our future unfortunately because I just started my business we can't count my income towards buying that home um, for two years and so thank God Brian's been blessed with a wonderful job and you know a steady career that we can rely on to get us the loan anyways it's totally unrelated just know that if you follow your dreams and you pursue what you want and you don't sit and force this it can fall into place for you and if you wait for the right timing and for me personally I have a really bad habit of getting money and wanting to reinvest and that's all great and like definitely put the money into marketing yourself and putting yourself out there and you know getting quality product I've really taken off with my website my social media I've you know been really good about keeping things up to date and I'm really trying to stay consistent with you guys as far as posting on YouTube so that's just a little bit of background on me and I have to wake up 
and pinch myself because I seriously cannot believe that I've made this into a career. If you would have told me 10 years ago that you were going to become a makeup artist, I would have been like, yeah, right, I don't even know like how to do my own makeup. I know how to put on bronzer and mascara and that's it. And that's all I wore for like, you know, the last probably six or seven, eight years. And then I really started getting into makeup and learning about the application. And like I said, it's not about putting makeup on myself. I could honestly take it or leave it. And when I'm not filming, I usually am not wearing makeup, but as far as helping other people feel beautiful, I mean, that's my why and that's my reason for doing this. And so find out why you want this career and what's gonna drive you and motivate you. And are you willing to put the blood, sweat and tears into it? Because it is a lot of work and it can be really scary, but it's also really exciting, especially when you're getting emails and phone calls on the daily of people seeking you out. So just if this is something that you are passionate about and you wanna pursue then just keep going keep pushing and you know find those people in your life that are gonna be supportive and loving no matter what I've been so lucky to have my husband by my side through all of this and now we're kind of building our dreams together and looking at this house and just it's it's surreal like things are really starting to happen you know God is looking over us and I fully believe that and I trust him with our future and that's, I mean, that's all there is to that. I don't stress or worry about it. If you guys have any questions, leave them below. If you have any nice things to say or comments, leave them below. I just, you know, really want this to be a fun and positive place where you guys can get inspired and hopefully my testimony can help you to break out and find what makes you tick and what makes you happy in life. Because, you know, you only get one shot at it, so might as well make the best of it. But anyway, sorry for that huge long spiel. I just thought it was really important that I fill you guys in on what happened for me and my life and where I've come from and what I've made over the past six months. So anyways, I love you guys so much. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.